Do you think there's any way we could get John to wear a tie? Well, I think he might just be... Oh! What? <laughs> Galpin! <laughs> ah! Galpin, what are you doing with your face? My face? You got sort of this goofy look on your face. I love it! Uh, well, Toily, you know my face is permanent, right? <laughs> Galpin, I love you, buddy, and I love what you're trying to do. Love what I'm trying to do? Toily, I'm not doing anything. But listen, during the show, you cannot look at me with that face. Don't look at you during the show. No, you look at me with that face during the show, you're going to kill me, okay? Well, Toily, I think that the All right, come on, let's start the show. <laughs> this is so funny, his face. Live from Hollywood, it's Wednesdays with Toily. With Toily's special guest, musician and viral sensation, Rob Paravonian! Plus, a visit with John B. DeHaas! I'm your announcer, Galpin Ford, and now, here's your host, Toily T. Paper! Thank you! Thank you very much! Thank you! It's great to be here! Thank you! And hello, everybody! Welcome to Wednesdays with Toily! I'm so excited for today's show! We have a fantastic guest! But before we get to our fantastic guest, I have to check in with my buddy, my pal, my best Pelaroo! It's John B. DeHaas! <laughs> I'm good. Fantastic. I love that. Look, it's, it's past Christmas, but it's the gift that keeps giving. <laughs> it does keep giving. It's like a warm hug from you. That's right. That's about all the hugging I can do these days. You know, it's about all the, yeah, yeah. the hugging you can do. Yes. Yeah. Elbow bump. Yeah. Hey, speaking of elbow bumps, John, I was thinking about this. I've never seen you in... <laughs> I have never seen you. Oh, this is funny. Hold on. I've... <laughs> There's... Uh, Galpin, stop it! Stop it, Galpin! Oh, okay. Sorry, Galpin is over here making faces at me. I've never seen you... I've never... John! <sighs> Galpin, stop! I've never seen you in a fight, John. Have you ever been in a fight? A fight? No. You've never in the history of your life ever been in a fight? As the late Michael Jackson said, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. So you you have never gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody, even as a kid? Well, like brothers and sisters and stuff, but yeah, that's about it. What do you do, beating the crap out of each other as brother and sister? Big family, you know? I used to... I used to fight, John. I would fight. I would. I got into scraps. I got in. Not all the time, but if somebody got my blood pressure up, I would get into. Um, I would get into a scrap. Ooh. Let me tell you. I know. I know. You know what? I, I. But I was. I. I would. You know, be swinging wild haymakers. But I would also. I would also bite, John, like really hard. Oh, that's not good. That's, but listen, <laughs> let me tell you something. What? I don't see any teeth, though. Don't worry about it, John. Don't worry about, Don't worry about it. it. Okay. Okay. But you know what the thing is with, uh, with, with when you bite somebody during a fight, the fight right. is pretty much over. They stop right away because they go, what yeah. the hell is that? Yeah, I can imagine so, yeah. That's a little advice from me to you, John. Just a little advice from me to you. That's great advice. Thank you for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. For your first, you know what? We're going to do as soon as this pandemic's over? Get you in a fight, John! We're going to get you in a fight! We're going we're gonna to have somebody insult the piano, and then we'll get you into a, into a brouhaha. Gotcha. Brouhaha was one of my... Shut up! Jeez. <laughs> oh, All right, John, can you play a little music for us? Yes. Nice! See ya. Bye, everybody. Now it's time to welcome our guest, Galpin. Who do we got? Today's guest had a viral hit with his song about Pachelbel's Canon in D and has toured clubs and colleges, including opening for George Carlin and Lily Tomlin. Please welcome Rob Paravonian. Well, Rob Paravonian, welcome to Wednesdays with Toily. Hi, thank you. Good to be here. I am so excited to talk to you today. I, I'm a huge fan of all your work. Uh, you're just, you're, you're so talented, and it's a pleasure having you on the show today. 
Uh, well, thank you so kindly. I'm really excited to be here. I saw your show with Carla. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. You, you and Carla and uh, and and me, we go way back. We've known each other for for quite some oh, yeah. time. Yeah. Well, <laughs> way back. To right, I wanted... Pardon me. Way back to pre-pandemic days. Pre-pandemic. If yeah, if kids can remember that far, I don't even know if it's so long ago. Uh, well, no. Rob, you have a video of your song called Paca Bell, and it went viral. And in that song, yeah. you talk about you being a cello player. And you actually started learning the cello in first grade. Is that right? I did, yeah. It was through the uh, string program in the public school. I started on cello, and I played it all through grade school and high school. And uh, the, the Paca Bell rant sort of came out of my <laughs> disdain for Paca Bell's canon because we had to play it every year, and the cello part is insanely boring. Yeah, yeah. Well, that I mean, that video is hilarious. And if you if people haven't seen it, they need to check it out. But when I was curious, when was the last time you actually picked up a cello? It's been a few years now. I live in New York City right now. So I have a small New York City apartment. So at some point, uh, maybe about 15 years ago, I took my cello to my sister's house and it is safely stored <laughs> at her place. So it's been it's been quite a while. That's like my my mom. Uh, had a cat and she couldn't keep it in her apartment and so she gave it to my grandmother and then uh, and then she the didn't same play thing. With the cat anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> does your sister now play with the cello does she uh does she use it at all uh i don't know both she and her husband are musicians so they're they might have uh t you know taken it out to uh you know mess around with it i don't if, if they have they haven't told me but i wouldn't mind so if they're listening uh go ahead and give it some love <laughs> there you go there you go cellos for everybody and now yes. how many there's instruments do cello, as i say yeah yeah there's always room for cello uh how many instruments do you play um well i pl well how many instruments do i play well i play i would say guitar and bass guitar are my main instruments now and I can uh, noodle a bit on the keyboards, and I bought a lap steel guitar that I can uh, twang out some some licks on, uh, and uh, and a few other things here and there. But yeah, guitar and bass guitar are the ones that I actually feel comfortable playing in public. Awesome. And do you, when you are recording your albums, do you play all those different instruments on your albums? Yeah, so the keyboard parts, you know, thanks to the the magic and wonders of MIDI, I can play a keyboard part and then go back and make it sound like an actual <laughs> piano player did it because you can go in note by note and uh, finesse things. But yes, I do when I, I mostly do all the all the instruments on all of my albums. Every once in a while, I'll have a guest performer, which is also really fun. I had a fellow comedy music performer, Ben Pernick. Uh, he's also a saxophone player and he played tenor sax on one of my songs, which is really cool to have like an actual saxophone on instead of just you always using like virtual instruments. So yeah, most yeah. Of it's always, yeah. Re oh, real is always better. That's what I, that's <laughs> yeah. what I say. If you, if you can do it. You can afford it. And if you have space to record it, if you can afford it and can record it. It's there you go. <laughs> Put that on a shirt. Yes. Um, now you were a musician first. When did you you start writing funny songs? When was it like I'm gonna write funny songs? Um, it was in college. I I started. Uh, I went to a few stand up con or contest and started doing open mics as a stand up. And then uh, I took at one of the open mics. I took my guitar because I had some songs that I had just sort of I thought were funny. Uh, did some parodies that I thought were funny. And so, yeah, but it was, um, yeah, so it was about in college when I started doing, trying to do stand up and uh, performing as a comedian solo. Awesome. Awesome. Well, you have your latest release is an EP and it's called Blindsight 2020 and it came yeah. out at the end of 2020. And uh, if people check that out, what can they expect? Well, it has a, a, it's about, it's five songs. It has a, a song I wrote about the pandemic, a new song, and it has a couple songs that I've written over the last couple of years that I just wanted to put out uh, before the end of 2020 to sort of, part of it was because I really like a lot of these songs and uh, I, I did good recordings of them, but I wasn't going to put out a full album probably with it on before the next year or so. So I want to get the the songs out there so people could enjoy them. And I also hoped it would spur me to like start working on uh, new material for a new album. Cause I have some new stuff. And instead of waiting to put like 12 or so songs together, I felt like I have five good songs. Why don't I just release them? Cause with digital music and the inner, you know, the music world, the way it is right now, you don't really have to put out a 12 to 15 song album. You know, you could put some yeah. singles out one at a time if you want. So I just thought I yeah. would, uh, get them out there and you know try try a little different way of uh putting things together 
I love it. I love it. Well, could you play uh, one of the songs from the EP for us? Sure. Yeah, I got uh, the one that I wrote for the pandemic. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. You know, I thought, hey, this song will be relevant for only a couple months. I better record it now. And, right. Uh, <laughs> It's still, uh, well, maybe in New York, it's not quite as relevant because it's cold out. It's cold here right now. But, um, you know, it's about wanting to get out and getting some sun, but not wanting to be in any crowd. So uh, so uh, it's, it's, a, it's a little beach song, a pandemic beach song <laughs> for uh, how do you, about coping, I guess. So anyway, here we go. Well, the beach is closed, but I need some sun. But when I go out, I can't afford any, I can't avoid everyone. Oh, I want to get sunbeams on my face, but I got to give everybody their space. So that means I can only go to one place. I'm catching rays, 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 catching on the fire escape, escape, escape. Fire, it's been too many days, 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 How much more can I take? How much more can I take? I'm going out of my mind. I need some sunshine. But that's why I'm catching rays on the fire escape. I got a beer and a shot. And the wind in my hair. What's left of it? I always get a spot. Cause no one's ever there. I'm so alone. Oh, there are no ocean sounds. But it's the best place that I found. To avoid people cause you're 12 feet off the ground. I'm catching rays, rays, rays. Catching on the fire escape. Escape, escape. I, I hope it's just a phase. That was really not that great. Not that great. It's not sexy at all. And there's a chance I could fall. When I'm catching rays on the fire escape. Well, I can't play and eat frisbee. I can't lie in the sand. sand. I can do two whole things. I can sit or I can stand. I smile at people far away as they pass by my place. But I don't know if they're smiling back because they're all covering their face. I'm catching rays, rays, rays. Catch on the fire escape. Skate, skate. I can't catch any waves. I'll never get in shape. I'm getting fat. It's not a perfect plan. And there, but at least I'll get a tan. When I'm catching rays on the fire escape Oh, I'm catching rays on the fire escape I'm tired of catching waves on the fire escape All right, Rob Paravonian, I love it. Excellent work. Oh, thank, you. thank you, thank you. Abs absolutely amazing. I love it. I lo very uh, Beach Boys influence there. Uh, I can yeah, hear. Yeah, Beach Boys fan growing up. So, uh, yeah, I figured if I can... If I can't go to the beach, I can maybe at least sound like I'm there. <laughs> Fantastic. I love it. Now, you uh, before before we wrap up here, I wanted to ask about Cover Tuesdays. Because uh, it's ah, this yeah. streaming show that you've been doing on Twitch and, and Facebook. And, uh, and where can people check out this show? And what can they expect if they tune into Cover Tuesdays? <laughs> well, I bill it as a fun set of stupid covers. And uh, it's uh, on my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash Rob P. Rocks. And uh, it started actually the first week of the pandemic. I had a show scheduled for New York City that weekend, and that was the first week everything shut down. So I thought I would stream the show. And in order to test my streaming setup, I did a, a whole set of monkeys covers one Tuesday. And it was so much fun that I decided, well, why don't I just do another cover set next Tuesday? And it just turned into every Tuesday. Uh, I'm currently on my 44th episode. I haven't wow. riffed repeated any songs yet i do about 12 to 14 songs a week so we're already up to like over 560 covers that i've done and it's a wide range do like country rock classic rock a couple of jazz tunes a couple of pop tunes some dance tunes i did a disco night so it's a it's just a fun informal get together there's a lively chat room a lot of really friendly people interacting with the music it's a lot of fun and it helps remind me what day it is. So I actually put the name of the day in the name of the show. So I know right. like Cover Tuesday, at least I know one day of the week, I know what day of the week it is, so. Today's Tuesday, right. Oh, yeah, uh, well, fun. yeah, it is fantastic and everybody should check it out. Rob, if people want to go find out more about you and your music and, and all the stuff you do, where can they go? Uh, I'm easily findable at robprocks.com. Uh, That's my website. And I'm Rob P. Rocks, R O C K S, Rob P. Rocks on Twitter, Instagram, Rob P. Rocks.com, and also Rob P. Rocks on Twitch. So uh, track me down and say hello. There you go. All right. Well, Rob, it was such a great pleasure having you on the show. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me, Toily. Wednesdays with
Matoili. Big thank you to Rob Paravonian. Thank you to John B. De Haas. And thank you to all of you for watching. But for right now, gotta go! You've been watching Wednesdays with Toily, starring Toily T. Paper, with special guest Rob Paravonian and musical director John B. De Haas. For Wednesdays with Toily, this is your announcer, Galpin Ford, saying good night. Galpin Ford's wardrobe provided by Sims of North Hollywood. <laughs>